Hey everyone, this is Cindy, and I have several glue books um, for selling my Etsy shop. They're already listed, but I haven't ever done a flip-through video, so I thought I would do a very quick one. If you need sizes and page numbers and all that, um, numbers of pages, I refer you to the Etsy listing. I just want to go through these really quick. The thing about this one, it has two signatures. The rest of them have three. I kept the original spine in this book because this book is a cloth book. Um, that might be uh, paint there, maybe, but the rest of it's cloth. And the inside, I kept it the way it was. I just put some lace on the spine. And this one, like I said, has two signatures. Most of these junk journals have similar pages. They're from atlases and these uh, large print cookbooks. And then you'll find uh, junk mail like this um, Taylor Guitar brochure. And these are more book pages. And there's a magazine. And then uh, sometimes you'll see... Um, there's some junk mail. You'll see calendar pages and things like that. So just doing a quick flip through of this one. And I'm calling this one, I think it was our family tree or the uh, fabric glue book. So anyway, just a variety of bases for you to collage on. So this is this one. And the next one is the Life Goes to the Movies one. And it's very large. So it's oversized, but... Um, it has a lot of room for expansion. You can see those three signatures there. Um, so you'll have plenty of um, pages to, you can use to collage on for a long time. This one's so big, I can barely get it in frame, but I just wanted you to see it. This is like an envelope, like school pictures came in. That's wrapping paper and just some um, big, kind of like tablet paper, music paper, atlas. I think that's from the guitar thing again. Like I said, you'll see some of the repeats on the on the books. This is a, a, a jelly print page. So anyway, this one, like I said, has three signatures. And um, I don't have the measurements with me right now, but it's, like I said, the links will be below for the Etsy shop if you're interested. And you can read about the number of signatures and the number of pages and um, the sizes there. So anyway, just to give you a quick flip through. And I think I have two or three more to show. So I will just piece that video on the end of this one. So we won't have a whole bunch of uh, different videos. But I did want to say that I'm having a pre-moving sale on glue books. Because I'm going to be packing up to move hopefully within the next couple months. So I'm going to have 20% off of all glue books. So if you're interested, the links are below. But stay tuned because I'm going to do a couple more flip throughs. Okay, here are the next two um, glue books. Let's look at this one first. I'm calling it the Green Houseplant Book. And it's got three signatures. It's about a two inch spine, I think. And like I said, if y'all click on the links, it'll show you the, um, give you the measurements and all that. So same sort of pages. This one has a lot going on. It's got super duper thick uh, covers. I don't think I've ever worked with the cover this thick. And one, I'm not sure if it was this book or not. I had such trouble sewing in the signatures because it was so thick. Anyway, um, so we got calendar pages and book pages. And this is like a um, desk blotter type thing. Here's a calendar. And we have junk mail. So this one's got three signatures. And um, I'm not sure how many pages, but... Usually I average like 12 pages per signature, which is like 36 sides. So it's like 120 pages or something like that. All right, I'm calling this one the Pear um, Glue Book. And I really like this one because it looks kind of like burlap. And I like the fabric too. And it's just pretty plain, but you can do a lot with it. And like, I don't usually do anything to the covers because I'm just leaving it up to you, whoever gets this. This is the original um, inside of the book. And you can see where I've put the fabric there. And once again, we have the same so sort of pages from uh, some of the same books. Some things are different. I don't think we've seen the ledger paper before. We might have, here's a sewing pattern. Uh, I think I said this one has three signatures. There's a greeting card. And another one of the, what's kind of cool about this, it's got a pocket there. This is where school pictures come in. So anyway, this was the another glue book I have for sale. If you're interested, the link's below for it. And I have one more, I believe, so hang on. Okay, here's the last one I have to show. It is an oversized book again. It's space, I'm calling it space. I put like a three inch spine in there. 
three signatures, five hole paper, five hole pamphlet stitch, especially important for larger books like this because you need as many uh, places for that signature to be sewn as possible. Three signatures, variety of pages. You can see the fabric on the spine. This is from a really large book on how to paint. So we have calendars and book pages and atlas pages, music books, wrapping paper, disc blotter for kids, magazine cover, the school photo things. Oh, there's my picture. Yuck. Yuck, yuck. I don't want that on there. So <laughs> let's take that off. Sorry about that. I'll save you that. Okay. Yay. Um, big oversized envelope here. Pretty sure that's what that is. Yep, right there's the envelope. Some jelly printing. And just a variety. Same sort of variety of papers. Jelly printing again. Magazine covers. The oversized envelope. So anyway, if you're interested in any of these, the links for each one will be below. And um, I appreciate you guys going and checking them out. If you need measurements, if you go to the um, the uh, Etsy link, it'll give you the measurements of each one and pictures of these too. But I just kind of wanted to do a video flip through because I think that helps sometimes. So anyway, thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.